In the retail world, pricing seems to be one of those things that is more shrouded in mystery than most. So where we kind of suggest starting is always with local, go to your independent stores, have a conversation with them on what they expect, where it falls. But I can tell you this, typically on the independent side with retail, when you're bringing in a product, they want to double their wholesale numbers. So if, if you're selling your candle in at $5, they're going to want to sell it for 10. So focusing in on kind of having that as a starting point is a good idea. Now, when you're doing this kind of ideation, it's important to think down the line on what happens if it's successful locally, how am I going to compound that success? And do I want to bring it to a regional uh, grocery store? Do I want to take it to a national chain? Is this something that I think could be successful? in the retail side of the world. So knowing what's down the line is what I'm going to kind of go down. Typically, the breakdown is going to be for the retailer on a national chain. It depends on whether you're in grocery, which is around 20 to 30 percent, or going into like a Bed Bath & Beyond, which could be 40 to 60 percent. Um, you're going to want to have those margins laid out. So starting at 50 is a really good spot. Um, going into grocery or a smaller kind of regional chain, having that 30 to 40% is a good place to take that because you're going to want to slot in money for slotting fees, which are money that you have to pay to get the product in the store, advertising costs, which they might charge on the back end as more retailers are moving to that kind of a model where they're taking their profits on the front end through slotting fees and advertising costs. And they're taking less money on the back end through margin. Um, you're also going to want to factor in a distributor into the world as well as logistics. So distributors are going to want around 20% to 25% on the higher end, but you want to factor in on the higher end. And then you want to plan for about five to 10% logistics costs the cost to take the product to the stores or to the warehouse for the distributor and uh, they'll take it the rest of the way. But knowing those kind of stacks are coming will allow you to price your retail price on the front end when you're going to your very first store with that in mind, because you know on the back end, if it's successful, it's very hard to increase the price rather than decrease. So knowing on the front end, uh, you want to have that margin in there. Usually it's about 70 to 75% up. So if you have a candle at uh, $5 and your, your cost is at three, you want to sell it in at five, you're going to want to sell that candle at retail, probably at around that $12.50 to $13 range. So knowing that on the front end will hopefully help you on the back end.